All right, thank you. For Jewish people celebrating the high holidays here in Kansas City, the holiest 24 hours of the year starts Sunday night for the observance of Yom Kippur. Judaism's Day of Atonement, and it will look a lot different this year in our community, as everything has. 41 Action News reporter Dan Cohen joins us live this morning at the Jewish Community Center in Overland Park. Dan, good morning. Taylor and Lindsay, good morning. This is a solemn time of year for Jewish communities, both here at home and around the world. From Sunday night sundown to Monday night sundown, Jews will fast and take stock of the past year, and rabbis in our community say it's a time to look inward and outward during this time of year. We have to be honest to our, with ourselves and with others about exactly what it is that you know, we did last year. And so the next um, couple of sermons are about um, what the tradition calls soul reckoning. And so I hope that uh, uh, th that the the practice of Yom Kippur that's happening in the Jewish community uh, next Sunday night and Monday creates a ripple effect, um, and that it, it it brings an expansion of gratitude, an expansion of forgiveness, and an expansion of compassion. That's a universal message that applies to all faith communities. Here in Kansas City, congregations will be offering a combination of in-person, outdoor, and virtual services, depending on technological accessibility. And the rabbis I spoke to said that necessity is the mother of invention, and congregations are getting creative to observe Yom Kippur. Taylor and Lindsay, back to you. So, Dan, it's not just a busy time of year on the Jewish calendar. Local Jewish organizations trying to help out the community right now, too. Yeah, Taylor, there are food donation drives going on right now, and they're making meals for families as well. The Jewish Family Services Organization and the Rabbinical Association of Kansas City are working together to get food and meals to more than 800 families. Demand is increasing, and if you want to make a donation as well, you can do that right here at the Jewish Community Center. Donations, you can drop those off during the day, and uh, it's, it's a busy time of year, but an important time of year to help families in need in our community. Absolutely. Dan Cohen reporting live for us this morning. Dan, thank you. There are other Jewish synagogues in the Kansas City area with different plans for the high holidays. The Temple Congregation B'nai Yehuda in Overland Park is holding all services on Facebook Live or Vimeo. Congregation Kol Ami in Kansas City will also hold services on a YouTube live stream. And Kahilath Israel Synagogue will hold services in person.